Welcome back to the Mirror Coffee Roasters YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about another coffee grinder. Now this one might be, in my opinion, one of the most underrated coffee grinders in the market for a couple reasons. Might be just because that it's old. This grinder was released, I believe, back in 2013. Um, and of course, a lot of the newer grinders that have been coming out over the last two years, which there have been a lot, have been making quite the dramatic entrance into the market. So today we're gonna to be covering the Barazza Forte BG or the Barazza Forte brew grinder. And uh, it's a tasty one. I like it, I've been using it for the last two years and I'm stoked to talk about it. Let's get into this folks. So to start off with, one of my favorite things about this grinder is the astonishing 260 grind settings. On the right side, you have grind settings one through 10, which are your bigger macro steps. And then on the left side, you have grind settings A through Z, which is giving you those micro adjustments, those tiny, tiny changes in your grind settings, which for every one grind setting, you're getting 26 grind settings, which is, pretty incredible. You do really want to tailor and dial in your brew to precision. And that's one of the things that I've enjoyed brewing with this thing at home. In a lot of grinders today, you just lack that micro adjustment to be able to tailor your brews exactly how you want them to. With 260 grind settings, and tailored specifically for the commercial and cafe space, does this grinder will do a good job grinding coffee beans, what it was meant to do. And really when I got this grinder first, I was very pleasantly surprised that it absolutely crushed it. Yes, pun intended, crushed it. With that EK43 right behind me, I just wanted to show you guys a side-by-side -side comparison of the two grind qualities. Now, could you tell the difference right here on the screen what came from the EK43 and what's coming from the Barazza Forte BG. In my opinion, I would say the Barazza Forte is doing a pretty great job considering the fact that it's only $900 comparing with the $3,000 plus dollar grinder of the Malcone EK43. Now the third thing that I would love to talk about is its grind retention and the programmability. But before we get into that, I must make a note this grinder comes in with a built-in scale, which I think is absolutely incredible. If you take out the catch bin, what you'll notice right here is a very small scale, uh, which measures all the coffee that is being ground into your catch bin. Now this gave Barazza some versatility in terms of programmability. Now there are three custom presets that you can input into the grinder and you have two settings. You can do either by time or you can do by weight. So you can program this grinder to grind specifically 30 grams of coffee, 20 grams of coffee, or you can program the grinder to grind for 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 20 seconds, and so on. Now the scale built into this grinder is pretty accurate, I would say. It goes to about a tenth of a gram, and from my experience, if I'm, say, loading 20 grams of coffee into this grinder, most of the time, I'll get an output of about, give or take, 0.2 grams, which is pretty darn good for a grinder. That means it's retaining a very little amount of grinds in your burrs. So um, I absolutely love the programmability of this grinder. I love that it's giving, it shows you a scale of what's going on and how much grounds you have in your catch bin. And well, the retention is pretty minimal in this grinder. So in general, I, I actually really do love this grinder. So here are a couple things that I don't really enjoy about this grinder. Number one I would say is this grinder is pretty darn slow. Like it takes quite a while to, for it to grind even just something like 21 grams for your basic pour over. Now I'm not saying that it's taking forever. I'm not saying that it's taking a minute or two minutes, but comparing that say like some of the newer grinders in the market, the niche or the fellow Ode grinder, those grinders are grinding coffee at a much, much quicker rate. So if that's something that's concerning to you, or if that's like a make or break for you that, you know, you want a really fast grinder to grind through your coffee, that might be something you might consider with this grinder. Now, the second thing that I would say that I'm not really a fan of is this hopper. I like that 
it can hold a substantial amount of coffee. What I don't really like is that how the hopper is made right here at the base. So when I'm loading, let's say 21 grams for my pour over recipe, I'll usually have one, two, three beans that kind of get stuck on these little areas where it's, it goes flat. Uh, and I have to give it a little bit of a shake to bump those beans off and into down into the burrs. Now, this isn't a big deal, but it's definitely something where I kind of have to get into the habit of giving it a little shake nearly after every time I grind my coffee. Now, last but not least, I will say it's these levers that I don't really enjoy. I love that there's 260 grind settings, as I've mentioned before. These macro steps are very easy to move and to adjust. However, these micro settings, this paddle right here, has been giving me a little bit of a difficult time. Now, the first thing, the first time that it was giving me issues, I called Baratza and they ended up sending me a replacement part very quickly with no questions asked, which was awesome. Their customer service has been a pleasure. However, these paddles are becoming a little sticky for me um, once again, and it's kind of a bummer. I just wish that they would figure out a way where the paddles wouldn't get sticky and it would be kind of future proof for a much longer time. But so it's just one of those things where, yeah, it's not a make or break. I just have to use a little bit more wiggling around to get it to where I want it to be. But then at the end of the day, yeah, it's kind of uh, an inconvenience, so to speak. Now, I know I've said a lot throughout this video, but I will say still at the end of the day, I am so pleased with this grinder. It really just does what it's supposed to. It's supposed to grind coffee, but it's also giving me so much flexibility to dial in my brew and it just simply works. Now the tech features and the built-in scale are just little kind of like cherry on tops that Barazza was able to pack into this grinder, which I absolutely love, but you know, even if it didn't have the scale or the tech features, I would still really enjoy the usability of this grinder and the quality that it's that it's putting out. You know, and even with the cons that I mentioned about this grinder, I would still really, you know, if this grinder were to break on me, I would actually really consider buying this grinder all over again. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give this a thumbs up. If you wanna stay tuned for our future videos, hit the subscribe button and down below in the comment section if you have any questions about the Forte or you want us to review another coffee product, let us know. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.